guess it could happen. Are you kidding me? Don't mind me being above average. This is gonna be delicious. My lashes never looked that long before. Can I ask you a question? Yes. You have to be honest. Right. To start the rebuilding of life. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I have gotten up this morning. I feel different this morning. I don't know what it is. Look at me being very spiritual on a Monday morning. I just feel like I'm ready to get back to work this week. <laughs> Lol, watch me tomorrow, like, have a breakdown. Um, no, but last week was very slow for me because of Sonny's surgery. I'm not going to mention it anymore because that was the vlog dedicated to it. And I kind of put everything on the back burner, but this week I'm really excited to get back to it. I think I actually needed a little break, to be honest with you. I think if you get a bit wrapped up in the world of Instagram, specifically, it can be really toxic, and that's kind of what had happened. I found myself comparing myself to everybody. I was also getting really paranoid about my vlogs that they're not as good as other people's and but realistically there's not a lot I can do because of life at the min. I'm changing my mindset this morning. I am going to focus on the vlog a bit more this week. I've got some good things lined up for the week as well which I'm excited about. I've gotten up, I've done my makeup, I've got ready for the day which is a good start. I haven't done my hair yet but I will. I'll get there. And I've got a cup of tea. Lovely. Oh, it's still hot as well. It's very rare that I have a hot cup of tea because I just forget all the time. Done my skincare this morning. My skincare routine in the mornings right now is honestly probably my favourite it's ever been. So first of all, I use a bit of this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. And I just use this around my nose. It's good for pores, like to close pores, make pores smaller. So yeah, I use it kind of here and sometimes on my chin a little bit as well, but just for good luck and then i use an eye cream so this one is from origins this is the ginseng refreshing eye cream then i switch up the moisturizer but for this monday morning i wanted something light something citrusy and this smells like lemon and lime so this one is from tata harper it's the waterlock moisturizer i love it and then i finish off with glossier's future dew serum to give you a nice little glow so yeah did that done my makeup got a cup of tea and we're off to a good start hope you're having a lovely sunday so far and that this week has treated you well hasn't started for me yet so fingers crossed wow she's done her hair <laughs> Literally, I think if there's one good thing that has come out of the past year for me, well, number one would be spending more time with my family, number two would be getting a puppy, but number three is that I've barely used heat on my hair at all. So I feel like it's probably had a really nice break. Um, I can't wait to get it cut though. Anyway, I've just sat down because this morning I'm going to have a look for some Mother's Day presents because it's Mother's Day on Sunday. And it's Monday now, so I've got six days. And I feel like everyone is going to be doing the same thing and shipping might be a bit difficult. So I'm going to have a look for a present right now. This lip oil is my fave. Look, I've used loads of it. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil. It feels so lovely. It's like my go-to when I just want to slap something on. So I'd recommend that. I'll link it down below. Anyway, for Mother's Day presents, I was having a think about it last night. And I found a couple of bits. Something from Etsy. Um, but she's quite into like skincare and stuff like that like I am. Let me show you my three options so far. Take you off my tripod. That instantly feels more casual. So the first thing I found is this gift box from the body shop. This is the almond milk and honey gift set. I love this scent. It's one of my favourites from the body shop. And you get a really good variety of products with that. So that's a potential. The next thing I found... Oh my god, this is really cute actually. So I found this on Etsy, look, a custom house portrait and this person paints your house. How lovely is that? But I've left that too late, haven't I? Because they're not going to get that done in six days. That would be a nice joint Christmas present for my mum and my dad. Maybe I'll do that instead. I shouldn't have left that so late, that's so annoying. Um, and then the third thing, oh, this is a classic for my mum, from Elizabeth Arden. She loves these little capsules. Quite often they've got a really good deal on these on the Look Fantastic website. She loves the pink ones. They're the Liner Raisin Night Serum. She said she feels like she's really treating herself when she uses these, so... 
They're another option for Mother's Day. But I do feel like it's a little bit of a cop out because I always get her them. I'm going to keep looking, but those are three of the things that I just quickly saw last night and I thought they would be nice. I know she would like any of those. At the minute, I'm leaning towards the Body Shop gift set because I've left the painting too late and the capsules, like I said, I get her all the time. I think she would like that. Maybe I should just go ahead and order it now. But I need to do a bank transfer first. Does anyone else, right, just not keep money in your bank account? It's like a running joke between me and my friends friends because anytime we go out I'm like hang on girls got to do a transfer because I just don't keep money in my current account it's all in my savings and then I just transfer it as and when I need to I don't know I just feel like it's safer I've had my bank details stolen a good few times in the past so now I'm doing like whatever I can to keep them safe I would say the maximum I keep in my current account is probably a hundred pounds and that's pushing the boat out for me that's risky business <laughs> But one of the best ways to keep your bank details safe is by using Surfshark. See what I did there? This section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, tell you all the info you need to know, and then I'm going to get order in the Mother's Day present, otherwise I'm definitely going to forget. So Surfshark is a VPN. It's basically like a little add-on to your internet browser to make the internet a safer place. When you use Surfshark, they actually have a feature called Clean Web, so that means you'll get no pop-up ads, no trackers, no malware, where, so like viruses and stuff, no hackers accessing your information. I believe that's called phishing attempts. No one's going to be deep diving into your bank accounts, your usernames, your passwords or any other private information. That feature of Surfshark specifically is so handy for me because like I said, I have had my bank details accessed in the past and it was so inconvenient at the time. I had to ring the bank, I had to get all my card changed. So it really gives me peace of mind knowing that's not going to happen anymore. A few other features of Surfshark include being able to access the internet anywhere in the world. Hello America Netflix. But it also keeps your information safe if you're using public Wi-Fi which is a gold mine for hackers and it's the only VPN where you can use one account on an unlimited amount of devices on your phone on your laptop on your computer on your Xbox so if you're interested in keeping yourself your data and all your info safe online there's a link to Surfshark in the description down below it's already super affordable but the lovely team over at Surfshark are very kindly giving you guys a massive discount so when you use the code fabulous you can get 83% off and three months extra free deals for days and they also have a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk attached anyway my bank details are safe i'm going to continue my online shopping i really feel like this body shop gift set is going to be a win it's got a shower cream a body yogurt a cleansing bar a hand cream and one of those bath flower things all for 22 pound i think that's really good can i ask you a question yes you have to be honest right what do you want for Mother's Day? Because <laughs> it's this week. I know. The only thing I would really, really like is something I only ever get at Christmas or Mother's Day. Walnut whips. <laughs> walnut They're whips. really hard to get hold of. I know they <laughs> are. Sunny! She said, I'll buy the walnut whips. Yeah, I would love those. Where do I get them from? I don't know. <laughs> That's your problem. But I found some really nice things though, like online. No, I don't want anything else. I'd like, just like walnut whips, please. We've got to find walnut whips, Sunny. Do you reckon we can do it? Oh. The Harry and Meghan interview is on tonight. Obviously, by the time this vlog goes up, it'll probably be old news, like it was on ages ago. Um, but it's two hours long and I'm so excited to watch it tonight. I feel like they're really going to spill the beans and just be totally honest about the royal family. I do think there's going to be a lot that they won't say, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I find the topic of the royal family so fascinating. I've actually got a lot of work done this morning. I'm really pleased with how my Monday is going so far. Very different to last Monday when Sunny was at the vets. Sunny? Do you want me to help you? Here you go, my love. Loose Women is on. I'm trying to decide what to have for lunch today because the ASDA delivery isn't until tonight, so we're running a little bit dry. I have got some bagels left, but they went off two days ago, so I don't know. Let me know, actually. This is something I'm interested to hear. With foods having expiry dates, 
are you the kind of person when it gets to the date you throw it away or do you just eat it anyway until you feel like it's bad because I am normally the type of person that throws it away on the expiry date and then I saw this TikTok that was like do you really think it gets to midnight of the expiry date and food says nah -uh, I'm not good anymore and I kind of thought do you know what maybe he's right would you eat the two day old bagels or not i think i'm gonna give him a look see if there's anything growing on it and if not i think i'm just gonna go for it it's the worst that could happen famous last words <laughs> hola senoritas here i am again it's now four o'clock in the afternoon and i've just filmed a little um instagram p.o box haul I like to actually put effort into it instead of literally just filming it, uploading it. So I'll like do different shots of the products from each brand and then edit them together and put some of my favourite music on. Just because I think it makes it a bit more interesting and I know that P.O. Box hauls are not always to everyone's taste. So I think at least if I put a bit of an effort in, hopefully some more people will like it. So I've just filmed that, I've not edited it yet and I'm now sorting through all the P.O. Box. To be fair, this has accumulated from quite a while like I haven't just received all this stuff this week and <laughs> look at all the packaging but I'm currently sorting it into different piles this bit definitely takes the longest although I am so grateful to receive all these products I'm never going to use all of them so I'm currently splitting them up for different charities <laughs> I'm trying to like go through in my mind what each charity would need the most I also have duplicates of a lot of products so I'm kind of splitting them between what I want to keep to try myself and what's going to the charities but I've still got this hefty box to sort through oh my goodness this guys I've already got one of these I've been using it for quite a while now the eight second wonder water you need it in your life it's really affordable as well I think it's on the boots website it's so weird you like drizzle it on your hair in the shower and it makes your hair go warm where it's working for anyone who watched last week's vlog I have actually been using this bottle but I only remember to use it when it gets to about lunchtime so I only drink one of them a day <laughs> I know you're supposed to drink two but we're getting there it's progress I'm down to 5 p.m. and it's only 4 p.m. don't mind me being above average good morning I am just doing my makeup, hence the um, concealer lip. But I've just curled my eyelashes and let me show you up close. Can you see? I feel like they do look longer. Oh, the sun is so bright. I've been using this lash serum, Lilash, for about a month now, almost a month. And apparently, apparently. <laughs> and apparently, Dad. I've never been on live Dad. television before. Apparently, you can see results after about six weeks. And today's the first time I've looked in the mirror and actually thought, do you know what, my eyelashes actually look okay. I've used this every single night, like religiously, stuck to it by the book. So hopefully, in a couple of weeks, my lashes are going to be like living their best life. I'll keep you guys updated. It is quite expensive, so don't like rush and buy it until I've said any more. But, so far so good i mean obviously this is without any mascara on but my lashes are normally so short and stubby and i actually feel like hang on let me put mascara on and then i'll show you here you go this is with mascara um this is the benefit their real magnet mascara i definitely feel like my lashes have improved am i imagining this no definitely not my lashes never looked that long before when i tell you i woke up thinking about lunch today there is not one part of me that's lying because I found this recipe online last week and it looks delicious and it's so easy as well. So it's a pesto, spinach and mozzarella um, flatbread. So the flatbreads I'm using are these garlic and parsley flatbreads. They smell delicious. So first up, a little bit of pesto. And you spread this all over the flatbread. I'm going to use quite a lot because I love pesto. Then I'm going to add the baby spinach. Don't know what makes it baby, to be honest. Going to quickly chop up the mozzarella and add that on the top. This is gonna be delicious. I can already feel it in my bones. Then the recipe added some red pepper flakes. I've only got red chili flakes, and this is an American recipe, so I'm not sure if that's the same thing. I'm just gonna add a few, maybe like to half of it, because I do like spice, um, but I don't want it to be super, super spicy. I know that looks like nothing, but these flakes are actually really spicy. So, there we go. Gonna put this in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes and take it out when the cheese looks all melted. I left it in for a little bit too long, I have to admit, but still looks delish. Um, a little bit crispy on the edges. I cannot wait to tuck into this. I'm so hungry. My tummy's been rumbling for like an hour. So my pampas grass finally arrived, the one that was like £30, and I did buy three stems. Oh look, did it just break? <laughs> 
I bought three stems of it, but they actually sent extra, so I've got five stems. So that actually works out to quite a good deal, I think. But it says to hair dry them to make them fluffier, so that's what we're gonna do. Sunny loves it because all the bits are falling off and she's chasing them. When spring is coming. <laughs> So here is what the pampas looks like. Not gonna lie, I definitely didn't need five stems. I didn't even need three. Put two in here. I can't decide whether I like it better or not without the white ones. Anyway, I'm gonna leave them for now. I've put the other three stems in a vase down in the lounge. So we've got some there too. But I think it looks okay. It's not as nice as the natural one, is it? The brown one is the one that my mum and I saw down at the river. The white one... It's just not the same. Side note, I love this tracksuit so, so much. It's from Lounge, but hold your horses because I have some very exciting details coming in the video very soon where this tracksuit is on sale for a ridiculous price. So keep an eye out for that because I already have this tracksuit in dark green and now I've got this colour which is, I think it's, I can't remember what it's called. It's either ash grey or ash white. Either way, it is so lovely. It's so comfy as well. The quality is incredible. I'm wearing size medium in the joggers and in the zip up hoodie. So lovely. I could rave about it till the cows come home whatever that saying is. So I'm spending the afternoon shooting some Instagram content. I don't normally do it in bulk. I normally kind of just like, I'm very casual with Instagram. I'll kind of take a picture if I like my outfit or if I've ordered a specific outfit, I'll like try it on and take a picture. But I've seen a lot of influencers like really being on it with the Instagram game. A parcel from Amazon just arrived and I'm very excited about this. Oh my goodness. Okay, this first thing is really boring, but I'm excited about it. It is a loaf tin for loaf cakes. I told you it was boring. I've got some tear stain remover for Sunny. And the last thing, so yesterday, I've got a whisper because my mum's downstairs. Yesterday when my mum said all she wants for Mother's Day is walnut whips, right? Well, you saw me order the body shop gift set, so first of all, her wish is not my command. Second of all, I do not know anywhere that stocks walnut whips anymore. I had a look on Amazon. They're really expensive on Amazon, but I did find these. So these are just whips without the walnut. Walnut whips are her favourite. Are they usually the blue packet, the vanilla ones? These are exactly the same. They're from Nestle. They just haven't got the walnut on the top. But there's also mint and caramel. So, I mean, is this better than a walnut whip? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> this morning I got up and filmed a get ready with me. I had that pesto flatbread for lunch again today. It was delish. I've got a meeting this afternoon with my management. We're going to have a little catch up. I think that will be really good for me. I feel like it will motivate me. A lot of you guys will know my manager Siobhan. She's actually left my management now. Very sad at times but she's had a little baby so I completely understand. Um, But I've still got my lovely team to work with. So yeah we're going to have a little catch up. A little refresh. Look at this that arrived. So the team over at Coconut Lane have started Coco Pup. Sunny's already got one of the harnesses from them and it's beautiful. Like the quality is insane and they very kindly sent her another one. Look at this. And it's a reversible harness so it like goes around the other way and it's black the other side. That's going to look so cute on her because she's like so light. There she is. Oh she's hiding because she thinks I'm about to take her out on a walk now. I've got the harness out. <laughs> she's so lazy. But the reason I'm showing you this is because they've also launched a matching gym set to this harness. I'll show you a bit later on. But they sent the harness, the gym set, a scrunchie and a phone case all matching so now me and Sunny can match. Isn't that adorable? Thank you very much to the team at Kaiko Pup slash Coconut Lane slash Coco Gym. Just finished my catch up with Craig and G and look at this guys, look what's just arrived. So this is from Garnier and it says, Unscramble the letters to finish this sentence and reveal our new exciting announcement. Garnier is officially approved by, let's see if you can guess this. Anyone got it yet? Oh my god, it smells so good. The answer is, drum roll please, <laughs> the Cruelty Free International. So Garnier are now cruelty free and they sent me these chocolates to celebrate. Thank you very much team. I'm about to make myself a cup of tea. I have a few chockies. Happy Thursday everyone. I'm making my lunch right now. I'm doing this TikTok pasta but I'm using um, this Borsin. I've never ever bought this before. I think it's a really popular thing, but it's basically garlic and herby cheese. So into this dish, there's obviously cherry tomatoes. I actually don't like tomatoes, but I do like tomato sauce and tomato pasta, so fingers crossed. Olive oil, salt, black pepper, and the cheese. And I'm about to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Adios, my friend. Good luck. 
back. How delicious does this dish look? This is what it's gonna look like at the end with the garlic and the parsley. This is the pasta I'm using. I honestly think this is gonna be delicious. This recipe does serve four though, so I've halved everything. Like I've only used half the cheese, half the olive oil, etc. But I'll link this in the description down below. Hopefully it's gonna be yummy. I'm sorry. But how good does that look? That cheese, oh my goodness. And then we add the pasta. It smells like garlic bread, but cheesy and tomato-y. Honestly smells incredible. I feel like there's not that much though for the amount of pasta. And like, I feel like the recipe should have had a bit more tomato and cheese. The camera is really not doing this justice, guys. I guess half of it is the smell. It smells so good. If I literally hide my ponytail, my hair looks brown. Look how bad my roots are. To be fair, I did put um, gel in it this morning because it needs washing. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna go all out and gel it into a tight ponytail. Kind of regretting it though. It's giving me a bit of a headache. But today, I'm getting bacon again. <laughs> you must be sick of seeing my bacon by now. But to be honest with you, it's the only thing getting me through each week, like looking forward to a new bake. And obviously Sunday is Mother's Day, now Friday. About that, you guys saw me order the Body Shop gift package on Monday. The email said it will be delivered in three working days. It's been three working days, honey, and it's still not arrived. Anyway, I'm gonna bake her a cake for Mother's Day, but we're gonna do it early because this cake lasts for three days and I let her choose the recipe this week from the James History website and she chose this coconut loaf cake and obviously I've got my new loaf tin so I'm very excited about this. I think I might be meeting my friend Chelsea for a walk later but I'm not sure. I haven't heard back from her. She's so bad on her phone. So I'm going to try and get this done quick as possible just in case. So I'm going to get cracking making this coconut loaf with a cup of tea. Very good choice from my mum this week. I just phoned my mum. I was getting my ingredients out for the cake and I was like, Dad's been eating the desiccated coconut. Like, I can't do my cake now. Mother's Day is ruined. I was like, are you sure no one's eating it? She was like, no, no, no one's eating it. And then I found the new bag that I actually bought the other day. And this is the old bag. <laughs> I feel quite bad. Anyway, let's get on with the coconut cake. Woo. I've decided guys, instead of filming this process again, I'm gonna do a little transition. So we go from the website Oh my god, I forgot about the cake. <gasps> oh, I'm laughing, but I'm crying inside. This is my mum's present. Oh, I had a phone call. <gasps> it doesn't even look that bad on camera, but that is bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it again. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I forgot. I literally just came in the kitchen and smelt burning and was like, oh. <gasps> I just cut it open and it looks all right inside, but now you can see how bad the burning is. That should be like the inside all over. I'm gonna have to redo it tomorrow. I need to go and get some more eggs though, because I used all of them. Oh God, you silly, silly sausage hand. Okay, so it is a lot later. <laughs> I made the cake again. So this is the coconut cake 2.0. It actually still looks burnt on the camera, but it's not this time. It only stayed in the oven for 45 minutes as it should have done. Perfect. Well, I haven't actually tasted it yet. Fingers crossed. Hello everybody, it's me again. Today I am serving you some comfy, cozy loungewear looks. Still not making an effort with my appearance. I've got another month to do this. Because from the 12th of April, things are starting to get going again. Today is Saturday, so the day before you're watching this, I've woken up in a good mood this morning. My cake went right for the second time. Can't believe I did that yesterday, but I'm over it now. Got a little smudge on my lens. Sorry about it. 2020 vision, there you go, you're welcome. Um, anyway, went out for a walk with Chelsea yesterday afternoon, which was really, really lovely. Anyway, previously in this vlog, I mentioned the... Um, delivery from Coco Pup. I showed you the harness and I promised I would show you the matching gym wear. Stop it, how cute. I even think this would look really cute with like a big oversized black overshirt. Absolutely lovely, it feels such nice quality as well. It's got padding in it, but you can take it out. Feels really lovely and elasticated. I know this is gonna fit me well and this is a size medium. The gym leggings have pockets. 
so perfect to keep your phone in on a jog walk or like at the minute I'm training Sunny to walk next to me so that would be really handy to keep treats in. The perfect dog walking leggings also got a matching scrunchie. I don't think I would wear all of these things at the same time because I have got the phone case too. I think I'll look like a walking Dalmatian if I wear the whole set but definitely going to wear this gym set while Sunny wears maybe like the black side of the harness. I'm going to leave a link to Coconut Lane slash Coco Pup in the description down below and very exciting news. So they first of all sent this harness. This is a size medium. Unfortunately this is too big for Sunny so I said to the team like I'm happy to send it back and is there any chance we could exchange it for a small? They were more than happy but they didn't want the harness back so I'm going to do a giveaway for this harness in a size medium over on probably on Sunny's Instagram but I'll promote it on mine as well. That'll be coming up next week. So if you've got a little doggy and you want a new harness for them, perfect for boys or girls, then watch out for Sunny's Instagram. It is sunny.thecabapoo. And thank you very much to the team at Coconut Lane. It's so kind of you guys to let me give this away. I didn't want it to go to waste. So the fact that I can do a little giveaway with it is lovely. I'll throw a few extras in for the dog mum as well. But enough about me. I'm about to wrap up my mum's Mother's Day presents because it's Mother's Day tomorrow. And... I got an email from Hermes earlier and the body shop package is arriving today between three and five. So hopefully this evening. <laughs> I was so relieved when I got that email, you have no idea. But I'm gonna write her card. This is the card I got her. I like this one because she loves elephants so I know she's gonna like it. I've obviously got her the whips as well without the walnuts. And I got this as well. This is so random, but I ordered this a little while ago. So it's a tea towel. I know that sounds naff, but it's from a website called Yappy and they do like personalized dog things. So first of all, we've got a customized Sunny on the bottom of it. And it says, every meal you make, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. Every time my mum is cooking in the kitchen, Sunny is sat there with her. In fact, I think that's what she's doing right now. So yeah, I think this is so cute. She's going to love it. It's just like little things like this that my mum likes. None of us are materialistic in our family, but especially my mum. Like she just, she relishes more in the things like the walnut whips and the funny tea towels than like a really expensive handbag. That's just not her. Just little bits and bobs like that for this Mother's Day. Okay, so I've wrapped up these two. I've run out of wrapping paper though. I've only got this tiny bit left. So when the Body Shop gift set arrives, I think I'm just gonna have to like, I don't know, maybe just put ribbons around it or something. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. See what it looks like when it arrives. But on this one, I've written love from Sunny. This is Sunny's handwriting, not mine, obviously. I think so far, this looks lovely together. I kid you not, the second I put my camera down, it arrived. I'm so pleased. Oh, and it looks really cute as well. Hang on, let's sort this ribbon out. I think I might just put a bit of gold ribbon on to match the others to be honest. I'm so relieved this is here guys. I can't even tell you this is like the main present. And just like that we're at the end of the weekly vlog again. I've absolutely failed with my drink today. I'm stuck on about 3.15. It's 9pm right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that happened to you this week. I want to say a big thank you again to the lovely team over at Surfshark for very kindly sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget to go and check them out guys and don't forget Code Fabulous will get you a massive discount. There is a link in the description down below. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a lovely Mother's Day and I hope you have a lovely week next week. And I'll see you again very soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.